we have to wake up here in Montgomery County. We've got to do more about addressing these issues. I, I will tell you, we have a, a, an anti-gang initiative that we are, are, have a, brought. We are trying to do education, prevention, intervention, as the county is through the health department. But I'll tell you, we've got to do more. It is, look, crime is down in Montgomery County. Sometimes that gets, gets lost in my conversations with you. And crime is down fairly substantially over the last seven years. But one thing that is not down is gang-related crime. And one thing that is not down is the sheer level of violence that is associated with gang crime, which has gone into the area of homicides and these kinds of violent assaults in broad daylight. We've got to wake up as a community. I will tell you, I am alarmed when I read the police reports and I see what's happening. And we've got to come together as a community and begin to intelligently deal with this issue. And we cannot turn a blind eye. Can I, can I, let, let me say, I think there's a number of things. First of all, I think we've got to recognize uh, that there is this increasing level of violence in the community. And I think that when it comes to funding, I think the police department should be funded more adequately in terms of their gang outreach. We have not gathered the numbers. I can't look. I don't know the specific numbers. I think there are kids that are native board Americans that have been recruited into these gangs. And, and I will tell you that the gangs are, are multi-ethnic, multi-racial, and you probably find gang members of every race uh, and every ethnic group here in Montgomery County. Some foreign-born, some natively raised. Uh, and, and quite candidly, that's a challenge for us. You know, again, one of the things I don't want to, you know, sometimes you come out here and you talk about these crimes. I'm telling you, I'm frustrated right now. And I see too many of these kinds of violent crimes being perpetrated and I want to make sure that the community brings some pressure on all of us, including myself, to do a better job. That's what we need to do. Uh, but you've got, to, you've got to talk about the problem and get some consensus within the community of how we want to deal with this. It is not uniquely, it's not all an immigration issue. Is that part of it? Sure it is. Are some of this, like are the unaccompanied minors, are they being targeted? Do we have unaccompanied minors who have participated in murders since they got here to the United States? Yes, we have. Have we had unaccompanied minors who have been murdered here in Montgomery County since they came to the United States? Yes. And do we know that those kids are being targeted almost from the day they set foot on soil here in the United States for recruitment back into these gangs? Yes, they are. So how do we deal with that?